Hello everyone. In the last lecture, we have discussed about the importance of strength of materials for GATE as well as the ESC examination. We have also learned about mechanics and its definition and just had a little overview about the type of bodies used. Today, we will study about solid body, its types and learn about the difference between engineering mechanics and mechanics of materials. So, in today's lecture, as I said, we will be learning about body and its types, what are rigid bodies, a brief introduction to engineering mechanics, a small definition for deformable body, as well as we will also be learning about the mechanics of materials. So, let's talk about solid body. A solid body is a body in which there is strong bonding between the molecules that is the forces of attraction between the molecules are very high. They are high in compared to what? That is in compared to force of repulsion. So we can say that a body in which there is a strong bonding between the molecules meaning the forces of attraction between the molecules which are high then the forces of repulsion is called as a solid body. Now a solid body also has two types. One is a rigid body and the other is deformable body. Let's discuss both of them one by one. We start with a rigid body. If you remember in mechanics of engineering, we have applied the pull or push force on the body resting on a smooth plane. Then there will be some displacement. If you remember in mechanics of engineering, we apply the pull or push force on the body which is resting on a smooth plane. There will be some displacement in the body, but it didn't offer any resistance other than friction and for a smooth plane. Friction is also very very least or very small. Let's understand it with an example. In the diagram shown in the figure, a truck is to be pulled by a person. It might possibly be there with some displacement in the position of the truck against the forces applied by the person. But there is no deformation. And if there is no deformation, that force can be neglected. So, a rigid body is a body that does not deform against any external force. Or it can also be defined as a body in which the distance between the two points never changes whatever be the forces applied to it and this we have studied in engineering mechanics. So from here we define engineering mechanics that is it is a subject in which we deal with the study of forces and its effect acting on the rigid body whether it is in motion or rest or the mechanics of rigid bodies are primarily concerned with the static and dynamic behavior under the external forces of engineering components and the systems which treat as infinitely strong and underperform able primarily we deal here with the forces and motions associated with the particles and rigid bodies. So it is a subject in which we deal with the study of systems which we treat as infinitely strong. Also, the undeformable primarily bodies will be dealing here with the forces. Also, the motions associated with particles and the rigid bodies. Next, the concept of a rigid body is ideally impractical, but there is no rigid body there in some amount of deformation in every body, no matter how small it is. For example, a bridge does not deform under the weight of a single man, but it may deform under a load of a truck or 10 trucks, however small the deformation may be. Since there is no body as a rigid body in practicality, we must introduce another concept that is the concept of a resistant body so that we would be able to use it in engineering problems. 
Let's have a look at it. Now, let us understand what a deformable body is, or we can also call it as a strained or resistant body. A body that has some amount of deformation when a load is applied to it, and due to this deformation, some resistance develops in it, which is equal to the external force acting on it. These bodies are called as deformable bodies. Let's try to understand deformable bodies. Look at a figure. Let's try to understand deformable bodies. Look at the figure. In this, we have a game of pole jump in which an athlete applies external load on the pole. Due to this deformation, there is some resistance which throws the man away. From figure B, we see that when an external force P is applied on the bar, a resistant force R is developed in the bar. This is equal to the external force P in magnitude and opposite in direction. So, by the force balance, the net amount of force acting on the bar is zero. So, we can say that the net amount of force acting on a deformable body is zero. Also, if we talk about force balance, we can also write it as P minus R is equal to zero. So this is it all about deformable bodies that we have to deal in the mechanics of materials. Mechanics of materials is a subject in which we study the force and its effect acting on the deformable body or we can also say that mechanics of deformable solids are more concerned with the internal forces and associated changes in the geometry of the components involved. Till now, we have mainly discussed rigid and deformable bodies and a difference between engineering mechanics and mechanics of materials. I hope now you all must be very clear about the concept of rigid and deformable bodies. In the next lecture, we will discuss the concept of strength. That's all for today friends. Thank you very much.